We need the real deal. Fake leaders will never achieve the Great Commission. The reality is that we're all sinful people. We first need the Gospel to transform our lives and secondly, we need accountability and to be able to help each other in this. So Jesus had a strategy when he came to bring in the kingdom and Matthew 4:19 says, Come, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And it's the same strategy and method that God used with Abraham and many of the other Old Testament individuals. The call to walk with God first, to listen, to follow, and then to surrender. And the disciples also lived with Jesus and related personally to him in all aspects of life, surrendering their hearts to him. And so we too want to see our students totally surrendered to Jesus as their King and Saviour. The relationship must be real and it must be built on solid biblical foundation without the pressure to showcase certificates and knowledge without a transformed life. We have failed if we have people graduate with Bible knowledge but with a false spirituality. We really want to see people spiritually, theologically and practically equipped to live as vibrant Christians reaching out to others and we consider discipleship to be the strategy used to fulfill this vision. Uh, 2 Timothy 2.2 says, And the things that you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people who will be qualified to teach others. So Paul discipled Timothy, who was able to pass this on to reliable people, who will then pass this on to others. Well, what are we passing on? It's Jesus Christ as Saviour and Lord. We follow Jesus' method of discipling men and women, and Jesus spent years with his disciples, training them to know and love the Father and to give their whole lives for his agenda. The ways which we disciple people at JFC takes place through community, uh, takes through mentoring people, studying God's Word in work and also in mission. As staff at JFC are walking genuinely with the Lord Jesus, being transformed by the Holy Spirit, this shows an example to the students who observe that their teachers really care about them, that they love them and are interested in them, even outside the classroom. As care is shown about students' families, when the students are feeling ill, how they're feeling in their heart, their study and their needs, um, God's truth is spoken into these situations so that the student learns that God is with them in every area of life and is to be Lord of all areas of their life. So JFC staff must be proactive about entering the lives of the people they are discipling. Getting out of their own world and entering that of the students as best they can is what they need to do. Building trust and care and inviting that student into their own life to share it. This part of the program takes time, more time than what's given to formal teaching. And the truth is, there are no clock off times. Sometimes it's really hard to see the value in chipping weeds with a student compared to teaching a class, but both are important and both speak powerfully into the lives of the students who will in turn teach and disciple others differently because of their experience. So eight years in, there is a faithful core of students who have continued further in their theological studies and are actively involved in local churches, teaching and discipling, some spending months at a time teaching in Bible schools in other countries. Materials that students have studied at JFC and have had input into have been translated and now they've been taught to others. 
These students that go and teach have a clear understanding of what the gospel is. One study that explains the gospel and in teaches about a daily relationship with God has been used to train over 1,000 Lisu in a, three different countries. And this same study is now being used in several Thai schools for hundreds of high school students. Discipleship is costly in resources, in time, in strength and energy. And it takes years to walk alongside tribal people teaching God's word and praying for true spiritual transformation. There now are JFC students who are noted for their genuine Christ-like character and their depth of Bible teaching. And some JOFC students are marked as people who are ready to give their, their life, their all, for the Lord and His Kingdom. For the staff and the graduates of JOFC, there's been a personal response to the Lord's command to go and make disciples of all nations. And this is a call for all of us who know and love Jesus. The question is, how do you do this personally in your own local context and then globally? How do you join with God's work among the nations? First, we have to ask ourselves, am I walking in surrendered relationship with the Lord Jesus? Am I being transformed in my mind by God's word and being conformed to the likeness of Jesus in my words and my actions and my character? Am I ready to follow him? Maybe the Lord is calling you to partner in prayer, in support, or even in visiting JOFC and joining what he is doing.